In this problem, we have to find the derivative of this function. So we have a fraction, so the quotient rule might be the first thing that comes to mind. However, whenever you have a fraction like this and you have a single term on the bottom like this, so whenever you have a monomial, you want to break it up as follows. So f of x equals, so just take this piece here, so x cubed, and then divide that by x squared, and then minus, that's the next symbol, and then this piece here, 6x squared, and then divide that by x squared. That's a really ugly 3, there we go. <laughs> Plus uh, the last one, which would be 8, so 8 over x squared. Again, whenever you have a monomial like this on the bottom, this is a better strategy than going through the laborious quotient rule. So this is equal to, so x cubed over x squared is going to give us x. These cancel, so you just have minus 6. Then you can take this and move it upstairs. So plus 8x to the negative 2. And this is still f of x. All right, now we're ready to take the derivative. So f prime of x. So the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of negative 6 is 0. And here we use the power rule. So negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. And we subtract 1, so we get negative 3. This will be equal to 1 minus 16. Let's bring it back down. x cubed. Went through that pretty quickly. So let me just pause and just go through it one more time. So initially, you know, we're looking for the derivative. And, you know, we have a fraction, so automatically you might think quotient rule. However, because it's a single term on the bottom, it's just easier if you break it up. So you just do the first one, x cubed over x squared, minus the second one over x squared, plus the third one over x squared. Simplify, maybe bring this up. And when you get here, just take the derivative of each piece, and it works out super, super nice. If instead you had, say, x cubed minus 6x squared plus 8, over, say, x squared plus 1, let's say this was the problem, then in this case you want to unfortunately resort to the quotient rule, right? Because breaking it up is not really going to help you because here you have two terms. This is called a binomial. So it only works when you have something that looks, you know, like, like this. And so with practice, uh, you will get better. That's it.